I missed y'all. Well, I haven't been on here much in the past week. We went to Alabama and watched my little granddaughter Ava play in the uh, World Series of Softball. They didn't win, but they played hard and they played good. Uh, I have been cleaning out my refrigerator in the motor home because we bought a bigger one because I gotta have me a good kitchen in my motor home. I like to cook, y'all know that. So I had to clean out a bunch of stuff out of my freezer and my refrigerator. I'm probably the only person y'all know that carries an extra freezer in their motor home. And I just like to cook. I don't like to eat out. But anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I went to the Piggly Wiggly the day before yesterday and they had eggs on sale. I think it was 69 cents. I'm not sure I have a for a large dozen eggs like this. Well, I love pickled eggs. I make pickled eggs. Steve Gallagher, I'm gonna make you some too. I got some half gallon ball jars and I'm gonna cook a bunch of these eggs up and I'm gonna pickle them because I ain't got room for all these eggs even with all my refrigerators. So I'm trying to clean out some of that stuff because it's getting hurricane season or it is. And if we have a hurricane, I don't wanna have to worry about anything spoiling. I've canned a whole bunch for us. Me, crazy me, I can't quit buying stuff. I wanted to show y'all this. This is an egg cooker. A lot of y'all don't know what this is. My friend, Catherine, Kathy Bellamy, uh, we're real good friends. We used to go to races together all the time and camp together. She had one of these, but it wasn't quite this big. And I thought to myself, why in the world I ever want one of them? Well, then I had chickens. If you have chickens, which I don't now, and have fresh eggs, this is so good to cook your eggs in, your hard boiled eggs. They are so much easier to peel. And it's very easy to do. Now, I bought these for my kids, but they probably are not using them. But folks, that's another gadget Mama's bought, and you know, me and my gadgets. Anyhow, what you do is you take, show you right up close, and you, it's got a little nail in this thing, and you poke a hole in the end. Watch it not poke right since I'm showing y'all. Like that. Remember I used to poke holes in eggs and blow them out for Easter to or to decorate an egg, you want to hollow egg? Well, this is basically the same thing. You poke the hole in all the eggs and you put them in this. Now this one has two layers. So you can do a, I think it's a dozen eggs at a time in this. The reason I'm doing this is because I can just leave them. I pour, pour this container of water in there. I can turn it on to leave it and it's got an alarm tell me when they're done, I just turn it off and they're easy to peel. Uh, I don't have to worry about turning it on, boiling them, watching them, all that kind of crap. And I want to do, the, I got a lot of stuff I want to do. Uh, so I'm gonna do all these eggs and I'm gonna get them all boiled and I'll show y'all what they look like when they all get done. And see how easy it is to poke that hole? Sometimes they'll bust if I don't poke, if I don't kind of water it out a little bit, but I don't care because I'm going to peel them in here. Sometimes I boil them up a whole bunch of them at a time, put them in the refrigerator. Being on this uh, low carbohydrate diet, I eat eggs a lot, cold eggs. Keep them in the refrigerator, I got them when I want them. But see how easy that is? And don't hardly. And they're not expensive. Now I ordered this one off Amazon. Like I say, I had one before, but it wasn't this bigger one. And uh, it's, uh, I just like to keep eggs. <laughs> I, I know this is crazy, me going and buying all them eggs, but I did in here. So, anyway, I'm gonna start these and then I'll come back later and show, show it to y'all when they're done. I hope y'all have a great day. It's hot here. Uh, like I said, I got a bunch to do. I got 
mushrooms over here that I've washed and I'm gonna put them in a container so they won't go bad as fast. Uh, fresh mushrooms, I love fresh mushrooms to keep. And I've got, I'm cleaning out my refrigerator and I'm gonna clean out some of my freezers. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna can some more of the stuff. And just got a bunch I want to get done. I've missed being at home for a week, but I sure had a good time with my grandbabies. And I got to see my grandbabies up in Alabama, Samantha, Anna, Gracie. I'm missing mine here. I hadn't seen Rainy in a couple weeks. It's about that time, Rainy. Austin just got home from fighting fires out in Texas. Miss him too. Uh, so, everything's busy. I hope y'all are busy. Being busy makes everything good. You just don't sit around and eat as much. That's what I found out. Um, if I'm sitting and watching TV, I snack too much. Get too fat. Okay, y'all hear that? Well, that's the alarm. I had one on the top that cracked and one in the bottom. So they won't be perfect. So I eat them. Uh, we'll turn it off. See? Now they're cooked. I'm going to let them just sit there and cool. Yeah. Could throw me a bowl, bowl of cold water and get another thing started. It's been about, about 10 minutes. I've been doing other stuff. Um, I kind of like this little gadget. It wasn't very expensive. You can get them, you can get them all over now. I got this, like I said, I got this one off of Amazon. Um, but if you have fresh eggs, fresh chicken eggs, this is a good way to cook them. Um, my daughter has hens. She has fresh eggs. Uh, I, I forget to get them to you, true. Uh, but it, it's a really a good way to use your eggs that you can't, with a fresh chicken egg, it's hard to peel them sometimes. They're so soft. The older the egg, the better they are hard boiled when they're fresh eggs. So I wanted to show y'all that. When I get ready to pickle it, I'll do it. Show them pickling. I love pickled eggs. I got a friend, Steve Galhart loves them too. I pickled sausage, pickled eggs. Pickled sausage are good. Just cheap hamburgers make good pickle sausage. I mean, cheap hot dogs make good pickle sausage. So. I'll bring y'all back for that when I get ready to do it. And show y'all how I like mine. I like mine with a little bit of sweet in them. I like them vinegary, but I like them sweet. I don't like them too tart. So, and I like a, just a little bit of, uh, of spices in it. A little bit spicy. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye. You know what? I got to thinking about it. And I thought, you know what, I ought to show them how well these eggs peel. Now, I just dumped them in this water. It's not cold, the eggs are still hot. Uh, see, some of them aren't perfect. That had two that weren't perfect. I must have not made my hole big enough. Might have had a little crack in the shell too, you never know. So, I thought, well, I'm gonna show them how good these peel. Watch it not peel since I'm showing y'all how good it peels. Um, they're still hot. If I'd let them cool off, they'd feel a little bit better. <laughs> but, see how good that feels? I always peel my eggs in water. One thing, you can rinse all the little pieces of shell off if you got some. I don't think you're gonna get a better egg than that right there, do y'all? So I'm gonna peel all these. I'm gonna get another batch going while I'm doing my work. And this is gonna be pickled eggs. I need to do something with all these eggs I got. I probably got six dozen eggs I got to do something with. So, I thought, would well, this be? That is so easy. I don't think you can get no easier than peeling eggs like that. Like I said, look on Amazon. I need to start me one of them Amazon stores. I don't know how to do it, though. But, and look for the egg cooker. You can get them. You can get them smaller than this, or you can get them these big ones. 
get them different prices. They're not, they're not expensive. They last forever. You take this off and you wash it. I probably won't wash it this time. I just put another thing of eggs in there and cook them. And uh, it's a good deal. I love my gadgets. Some gadgets are worth it and some gadgets aren't. But I probably have had every gadget in the world. But uh, I like it. So we'll see you later. Bye.